Yo, welcome back to another episode of Duel of Sunset. Today we are running red eyes. However, um this video right here is to show the quickness of how you can get a victory with a red eyes deck. Yeah, like the last video, you know, was the first turn kill deck, but this is just showing how fast we can get things going. So card of red stone to send alternative. I'm not even gonna do red eyes fusion. I'm gonna set baby dragon face down. I'm gonna set two cards and I'm gonna pass turn. Uh, red eyes baby dragon is actually pretty clutch, but he's only clutch when he's destroyed by battle. So if he's destroyed by battle, I get the special summon one uh, red eyes monster from the deck and equipped him to it for uh, plus 300. So that's pretty cool. So this guy summons Breaker and use Breaker's effect to pop my mirror for us. I, you know, I mean, I'm worried about it, but I'm not really worried about it, you know. Red Eyes Baby Dragon's effect. We go ahead and equip. I'm gonna go ahead and hit him with a Red Eyes Burn too, you know. So Red Eyes Burn. The way how that trap card works. Whenever a Red Eyes monster leaves the field, the opponent and the attacker. I mean, the attacker and myself also take that monster's original attack as life points. So I'm going to use Gear Freeze effect on Baby Dragon to pop his face down. And Baby Dragon's second effect is when he's destroyed and is equipped, I can add one level 1 Dragon type monster from my deck in my hand. So I'm going to add Black Metal Dragon. Boom, there's an Inferno right there. So we're going to do Black Metal Dragon's effect. We're going to use that to go ahead and uh, pop his face down with Gear Freeze effect. Black Metal is going to let me add one of him. I'm going to add Red Eyes Fang with Chain because, you know, why not? I'm going to activate Red Eyes Fusion. We're going to pull up with that boy Archfiend. Summon Skull, Red Eyes Black Dragon to make Archfiend of Black Skull. You can also make him with uh, Archfiend of Lightning, but Archfiend of Lightning has to be on the field first. I mean, unless you decide to go the uh, Necro Fusion route because he's still a normal in the grave. But in the deck, he's not a normal. So you would have to use Summon Skull to do that effect. So I'm going to use Archfiend's effect and burn him for 24. So right now he has 3,200. Next turn, I can hit him with Inferno and I'll be game. I think he, I don't remember what this guy ended up doing. But pretty much this is a game right here. Like, if you don't have anything you can do, like this is game. This is what I mean by like a red eyes deck can put pressure on somebody quick. Like, you know, he thought he had it and he did. Popped all his back row that he thought he was going to be able to use. And yeah, that's how that, you know, that's how the cookie crumbles right there, you know. Like, yeah, it's kind of hard to always get the equips on gear free so he could pop. But he is a nice card to use to pop something. So another card of redstone to start off. And I drew an Inferno and a Red Eyes Fusion off of that joint. So I'm going to do Red Eyes Fusion. Go ahead and get Meteor to the field. Um, you could, So Meteor, you can make him with uh, what is it, a level 6 Dragon. So you could also use Kaiser Glider to make him as well. I don't like using Kaiser Glider. But, you know, if I was to run Meteor at 2, I would use Kaiser Glider. But because I only run him at 1, I don't need to. So I hit him in Inferno for 3,500. I'm going to use Insight to add Red Eyes Burn to him. Go ahead and equip Black Metal Dragon, 4,600. And then I'm going to set that Red Eyes Burn. So now he has two choices. End this turn and die, or try to get rid of my monster. And if he destroys my monster, the Red Eyes Burn is going to hit him for 35. So let's see what he decides to do. Magician's Rod, baby. Hey, shout out to everybody playing Dark Magician, man. The new Dark Magician support about to drop. This jump's gonna be crazy. I mean, you know, unless we get a reprint of Magician Souls, I'm probably not running Dark Magician because, you know, that's what's gonna help the deck run a lot better. So, yeah. Let's hit. And so, yeah, he destroyed my monster. And that's when I happen to, you know, chain, 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 chain. Chain and day, baby. But, you know, he's dead. Shout out to Red Eyes Burn. 
like I said, Red Eyes Burn is a very risky card because you, you take damage as well as your opponent. But if you already got more life points than your opponent, your Red Eyes Burn is like, you know, the thing that you need to seal the game. So this one right here, I definitely have a bad hand. But I do have the Ash Blossom. I mean, I got Red Eyes Black Flare and I got Alternative, so I will be able to get him to the field. Red Eye Spirit would help me get my Black Flare back the next turn. Well, it's not a bad hand, but it's not the best hand. But this just made it better. Black Metal Dragon, baby. So let's go ahead and Special Summon. Let's go ahead and Summon Black Metal Dragon. Mm, I was going to go Heretic, but you know what? I'm going to do Link Karibo. Link Rebo is actually very clutch. That shit saved my ass in the tournament the other day because I couldn't play, like, I was trying to play defense. So, you know, guy had me on the ropes. And I forgot, uh, Link Karibo, his effect is um, if I have a level one monster on the field while he's in the grave, I can tribute that level one to special summon him back from the grave. So that's cool because he still gets his effects and stuff too. So let's go ahead and set uh, Red Eye Spirit and Red Eye's Fang with Chain face down. We're going to pass turn. Uh, shout out to this guy, Gohan DBBT. I mean, honestly, he kept coming back to play, so we just kept playing, you know? I was really striving to get my first turn kills, and it just was not working. But he was trying to get his Dark Magician deck going, and, you know, we're going to let him. Okay, so the call a hunter to bring his monster back from the graveyard. Now what? Can I destroy him before he adds what he needs to add to his hand? Mm, yeah, no, nah, I don't need to activate nothing right now. It's just an apple magician girl. She's not going to hurt nobody. And just like that, he ended this turn. Booyah. Now, honestly, I should have did the Red Eye Spirit at the end of the turn, but I didn't. But we're going to ash that effect because he was about to try to special summon Dark Magician. Not going to happen, bucko. Not going to happen. Red Eyes Fusion. Give me Arch Fiend, baby. To be totally honest, I'm only going for Arch Fiend when I know, like, your back row is, like, exposed. You know? Like, either you have no back row or whatever you have on the field is not a threat. Because Archwing, I don't have to worry about that when it's time to go attack. You know what I mean? I just swing over that shit. And honestly, I don't know why I didn't have Archwing attack uh, Magician's Road. But, you know, we're going to hit Apple Magician. Oh, that's why. Because Apple Magician Girl has that effect. When you attack her, you know, you do that weird shit and special, you know. I ain't have time for that. Archwing not going to let you do any effects. And just so he knows, that's game. We're going to shuffle back in one for 24. That's Red Eye's greatness for you. This is Duel of Sunset, baby. We'll be back with another one. You heard.